You're feeling fine, but taking supplements to ward off COVID-19, you may be part of the population called the worried well. People who are concerned enough to spend on products that claim to boost the immune system. The Federal Trade Commission is cracking down on companies selling everything from stem cell treatments to collodial silver, which can be deadly itself. Ursula Perry checks out the most common supplements to find out if they really work. Vitamin C is good for your immune system. So will doubling up on this supplement protect you against the coronavirus? False. Our bodies can only absorb a few hundred milligrams of vitamin C at a time. High doses can cause a number of side effects, including nausea, cramps, and an increased risk of kidney stones. What about superfoods like chia seeds and coconut oil? No, nope, they won't work either. Experts recommend eating a healthy, balanced diet with a variety of fruits and vegetables that provide immune-boosting vitamins. People who have malnutrition, either by not getting enough protein or not getting enough of the nutrients and vitamins to help to boost your immune system, have problems fighting off illness. So what does help? De-stressing. When you're stressed out, the body produces the hormone cortisol, and that may interfere with the immune system. Also, a study by the University of California, San Francisco, found that getting at least seven hours of sleep a night makes you four times less likely to get sick. Your body can't fight off disease if you're broken down because you're overrunning yourself. But the most important thing experts say is to practice social distancing. And that's what's going to protect you more than just taking a supplement. If you have a pre-existing condition like diabetes or asthma, it's more important than ever before to continue taking your medication. Not doing so will hurt your immune system too. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.